We had a Troival Bowl where Skater Stan started initially run programs in Johannesburg. Um, yeah, the main goal was to come out here, run outreach programs, um, engage with the community, and kind of testing, you know, what um, the power of skateboarding can do to transform this community and show them ways of getting educated and at the same time enjoying sports. We have the bowl. Exactly how Skater Stan found it before they started with programs out here. And that is the power and the magic of skateboarding, you know. You can you can basically take skateboarding anywhere in the world where there's a dead space like this. And you know, you can color it in with your brush. opportunity to to put myself in in a space where kids could experience something I had never experienced in my life when I was growing up. I love the fact that the programs were free, but I also like the fact that it wasn't just about skateboarding. There were so many other things that came with it that actually ended up being more important than just the skateboarding. <laughs> One of the most important things when you're setting up an organization is the importance of knowing and understanding your community and being there for them but also listening you know uh, we have to spend a lot of time listening and like just sometimes keep quiet and don't assume you know everything and don't assume you know what the kids want don't assume you know what the parents need we have to spend a lot of time developing that trust and that's how i believe skaterstan has managed to stay what it is today is because it responds to its community wherever it is One of the new additions uh, to the skate coaches, the 36 skater from Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. uh, where are you from? Where exactly? Uh, so where to? So where to? Yeah. yeah man. Basically setting up the boards, the equipment, the pads for the ECDs, the little ones. It's the morning routine, man. The kids, they know how to put on the pads. As much as they're kids, four or five years old, they know the importance of safety. ECD stands for Early Childhood Development. So mainly what happens is that before they go to your primary, your uh, high school, this is a phase where they get introduced to your common uh, things like your maths, counting, and mainly it's because some of the parents don't have uh, the luxury of staying at home with the kids and homeschooling. Skaterstan has helped me to see the cracks and the small pockets that the world doesn't see. For instance, right now, when students come to Skaterstan, some of them just come here because it's a safe space and it has become part of the community. This is the, the future of, you know, of SA skateboarding, so you better watch this space. Uh, Two, three, skate I'm 16 years old. I've been a Skatistan student from 2018 when I was 10 years. Basically, Skatistan is like a home to me because it's a place where I can express my feelings, have fun and interact with different types of students. Who enjoyed and who would like to tell us why did they enjoy? I enjoyed my skate. 
Oh, okay. yeah, I enjoyed my skate session because Fainos helped me to drop high rate. <laughs> <laughs> Say who? Inos. <laughs> Next shout out, someone you like, guys. Someone you like, someone you like. First floor is where we run our create um, lessons, and today we are visiting one of our educators, um, Sarah, and she will just speak, um, you know, talking more about, you know, what it is to be a community educator. Yeah, let's lock up. Let's go in. As a community educator, I serve as a bridge between skaters then and the outside world. We have come up with ways of ensuring that we are always in the eyes of the community by doing home visits. This shows the family that they are important to skaters then. So our young um, architect and our skate park holder out here is going to be a uh, a very, very, very crucial asset to our community one day. In us being here, parents got to be empowered, pick up the pieces. I mean, the skateboarding on its own, it teaches resilience. So they see it from their children and they bring it back home and the, the parents learn from it. And they're like, if my child can do all of this thing, why can't I? I am excited for Skaters in South Africa. I think it's a significant achievement to be around for 10 years and still be going so strong. And I think that it's it's even more exciting that Skaters Stand has expanded to all these different places. We're in Atlantis, we're in East London, we're in Tebusa. And I think one of the things that excites me is just to see how much further these things can go. You know, how much stronger these programs can become, how much more of a South African identity they can have. Skater Stand is global, but it's also very South African here. And so I'd like to see where that goes, how much more of South Africanness will be introduced to Skater Stand. Welcome to Atlantis guys, where Skater Stand expanded to in 2021. This is where Skater Stand tried to explore new ways of operating by um, expanding their footprint into the public school setting. The goal was to give kids from marginalized communities access to quality educational programs. We are not here to replace the current educational system, but to fall in line with the, with the department's curriculum and basically have a blend of art-based education, life skills, youth leadership and skateboarding instruction sessions. We are really privileged to have Skatistan, you know, in the format that it is, you know, on board. And specifically with the children that we have at the school coming from the areas that they do, it is vital, it's absolutely critical that our kids also have that kind of life skills from their role models. We are at the Emmanuel Take Center for kids with special needs. We run our programs here once a week on a Wednesday um, where we make our programs accessible to kids living with a disability, including them, as we are all about inclusivity. same gears every time because they feel it comfortable with it. There's, some of them are used to the type of arms we use, some of them are used to padding up with certain knee pads. Like we take it for granted to pull a strap apart. They can't do that that easily. And it took some time and practice but they're good now. I can see the confidence and the grace they carry in themselves. And uh, that is because they see 
The team is a role model. They like any other normal young person. Even though they're limited within their abilities, of course, but they love it, they enjoy it. Okay. I don't go in with expectations. <laughs> I'm just here for the vibes, you know, just to be me. <laughs> and I come from Namibia originally, I was born there, but I've been between South Africa and Namibia for my whole life. I'm here more permanently now, and a fairly big portion of that reason is because of skating. Personally, for me, it's great to see the diversity in how many kids are being helped, how many different sort of disabilities are being taken into account here. I, I'm just stoked to be able to share in the improvements. I mean, as soon as you progress in anything, you kind of have that sense of self-confidence and self-worth. And I believe it's coming out in the kids as well. And I'm glad that skating can, can bring that to people. You're actually forcing us to, to think wider now, yeah. broader now. You made us realize that our children can do much more and it gives us so much hope. We just arrived at our second school, Saxon C High, where we implement after school programs. This is where our youth leadership interventions take place. This is one of the schools that had existing infrastructure like skateboarding ramps. So the kids just finished with the class activities. So um, they're outside now. Gonna come in and have some fun in the skate park with a little bit of skate, skateboarding instruction. We can see the change in the learners, especially their communication skills. Social, they have to know. Love you, love you, yeah, so we get all the girls, all the girls, so we share the same. All the girls.